If you or any of your family or friends are a victim of domestic violence and feel you are in, in immediate danger, please call 911. Also, there is a domestic uh, violence hotline out there for victims to seek help as well. So rest assured, there is help out there for you. Now, he says he, he did smack you twice. Yes, he slapped the shit out of me. He wanted to remain a police officer, but if he was under criminal charges, that would have been a a problem, as I recall. I'm, I'm In this case, it appears that thin blue line protection does extend between agencies. But however, first, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Be sure to check out the J-Town Press's new merch shop that's been launched at thejtownpress.com forward slash JTP dash store. Be sure to also check out the previous videos following this story. And there are some personal accounts and personal matters that go along with this story. However, we are going to leave that out as we are only focused on the nature of a Jackson, uh, Georgia police officer uh, committing or allegedly committing um, simple battery under the Family Violence Act. So without further ado, uh, let's, uh, let's start getting into this. Yeah, I got her. You mind if I drink my beer? You sure that's a good idea? I'm not a drinker either. Just wait until... Okay, All right. Cool. I appreciate it, man. I understand. Well, we know he slapped her. Um, I don't think it's going to be rushed. She don't want him charged. She just wants her stuff. She wants to get gone. You're absolutely right. Hey, y'all too. Come here for a second. If she's in the bathroom, he goes in the bathroom. He's shaving. I understand. So I she's naked on his left side. If she's too, is her. She did. That's what I wanted. Go. Right. And she was over there. And how do you guess? They matched up what she said. She said that when he shoved her, she's not saying he did. Yes, sir. Everything's saying she's on his right. All right. He also says that he did follow you into the bathroom when you got, and you guys were still arguing. Yes. He says that he was. Uh, we're lining up his face and you yeah, smacked him. Excuse my language. Because I was on the phone with dispatch when that happened. Because when he hit the door, it slammed me into the side and shower. And that's when the phone fell the first time. He hit himself like this. I was on the phone with dispatch trying to record him. And when I picked the phone back up, he took the razor and I can go show it to you. And did this right here and said, you're going to be the one going to jail. And then I was still trying to get the phone picked back up to get you guys on the phone. Okay. I have never laid my hands on that girl until today. <laughs> Now, she might have told her mama that. I am not lying to you. Here on the porch, right? Out here on the porch. She still ain't telling you the truth. I got you. Well, but based I'm on her wrong. statement and your statement, you slapped her. You agree that you slapped her, but she's not saying you slapped her. I mean, she's saying you slapped her. You're saying you slapped her. You're saying she slapped you. She's not saying that she slapped you. She slapped me first, and then I slapped her. Yeah. Why I'm you telling just, you the truth. Why you know how this works. Why don't you walk away and go get... So because she is, or just leave. she is honestly beat me up so many times that every time she slaps me, I've had bite marks, I've had this, that, and other. And look, I know I'm dumb. I didn't call the police, but I'm trying to look out for a job. I never would have thought she would have lied to y'all. No, I, I do agree. I mean, he put his hands on her. Uh, 
Yeah. I mean, that's what you want to do? What do you think? I'm with you. No. I'm here to help you. Uh, I'm going to hit the charges. Huh? You see how you taking the charges? I can't. I don't mind. Alright. Are you... You don't feel comfortable taking the charges? Me? It's a little gray for me. Is it? For me. But, I'm but he admitted it. It is, yeah. You're right. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Scratches with like a fingernails? It's not. Right. It's my razor. I was trying to do this when I was talking right. to her in the bathroom. So but you know you gotta stay her, cleaned her, up. Her skin did not touch your skin. Oh yeah, her skin touched my Where? skin. Where? She hit me like Where? right here. Okay. And that was out here on the porch, right? Out here on the porch. The um, he admits to slapping her. He says she slapped him, she says she did not slap him. Oh, uh, the sheriff had got involved and said he wanted an investigator to come out here. I've talked to him, and he is pretty much under the same agreement. we got to do something with him because he admits it. She denies hitting him. She says she put her hands up in her, his face, away from her face, because he kept spitting when he's screaming at her. He's throwed all her stuff out in the yard. Um, everything of hers is laying out here in the yard, but Swan Car asked me, would I also give you a call? I can't believe you lied. Hey, hey, uh, 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 I can't believe you lied, dude. She knocked the shit out of me and I fucking defended myself. But the problem myself. is you don't have any marks whatsoever on you. But she knocked the shit out of me. The problem myself. is you don't have any marks whatsoever on you. But she knocked the shit out of I, me right here. I don't. Do you see any marks? I, the only marks I see is from the razor. Honestly. Can, can we stand under the light? I, my I, face, I, I feel my face red right now. Right. Let me take a picture of Would that be okay? Yeah. Are you going behind me? We're going to have to double cuff you. You got okay. Can I put these in my pocket? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, All over a fucking thing. Which one y'all want? Hey, which one? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go. Um, do you have any questions or anything? Or domestic violence, we have to. We don't. We don't have a choice. Like I said, with domestic violence, we don't have much option in these cases. We're kind of bound to what we have to do. So, do you um? They're about to load up and leave. If you, I don't know if you want to interact with them or whatever. But, you know, they're about to. He's about to pull his car into the carport so he can load his baby up out of the rain, and then they're gonna leave. Um, do you have any questions or anything else? Or, what do you need to do about like TPO? I'm telling you, like, so what you'll have to do, you'll have to go. To kill me now? You're gonna have to. So since y'all live out here, you gotta go to the probate court here in Jasper. Officer Tony Hansen was placed under arrest for simple battery family violence act. There were injuries to the victim's face that was documented, testimonial evidence, and Tony admitting multiple times that he placed his hands on her. Victim also alleges that she is also pregnant. The victim was asked about getting a TPO, which is a temporary protective order, in place because she was scared he may try and kill her. Tony was transported to the Jasper County Jail where he was booked in under an arrest warrant that was applied for by Investigator Bowman of the Jasper County Sheriff's Office. Investigator uh, M.G. Bowman with the Jasper County Sheriff's Office um, is a sworn peace officer with, the Jasper, with Jasper County in the state of Georgia and alleges the facts tending to establish probable cause that a crime has committed are as follows. The defendant did, while being in an intoxicated state, 
and in an active verbal dispute slapped the victim twice on the right side of the victim's face. The defendant did throw the victim's belongings in the front yard during this argument. The defendant and the victim are in an active relationship living together for the past two years. Tony Hansen was given a first appearance by the Jasper County Magistrate uh, Court, Timothy uh, Lamb. And let's pay very close attention to this very last paragraph because this is actually highly important. The court grants you bond in the amount of $1,000. You may post your bond by cash, commercial bondsman, or property. While out on bond, you may not consume alcohol, take drugs except under the direction of a doctor, or possess a firearm. You shall have no contact with any sort with the victim. A violation of any of these provisions can result in the revocation of your bond. So, with that being said, was Tony working as a peace officer while he was out on an active bond possessing a firearm? Or did he go out on administrative leave? Or did they place him in the office to do administrative functions to not be around any firearms? This is a very good question, so uh, let's continue. So approximately five weeks later, the same judge, Timothy Lamb of the Jasper County Magistrate Court, hereby dismissed the said charge against uh, defendant Tony Hansen and that he shall complete an alcohol drug evaluation and anger management course. However, we there is substantial evidence, there's testimonial evidence, as well as uh, pictures that were taken, as well as a confession on body camera that he hit uh, the victim and was charged under this domestic violence. Um, the big question is, had he not been a police officer, would this charge have been dropped and would it have been dropped so fast? Um, within five weeks, um, approximately about five weeks, the charge got dropped. Um, had this been a normal citizen, would this, um, would this have um, even been dropped? or would it still be in litigation right now? Those are very good questions. And this is what uh, Judge Timothy Lamb had to say um, about the situation. Is this Mr., uh, I guess Mr. Uh, Judge Tim Lamb of ja Jasper's Magistrate Court? That's right. Oh, hey, how you doing, sir? My name's Russ uh, with, the, with the media organization. I was curious uh, if uh, I just trying to get some information about a case you dismissed last year. Okay. If you're if if you're willing to speak about it. Well, um, uh, what what case was it? Uh, Tony Hansen. Uh, the name rings a bell, but I'm afraid I don't remember any specifics. What? Uh, uh, what he kind was of a case he was it? a Jackson, Georgia, or he still is actually a uh, Jackson, Georgia police officer, and he was arrested for simple battery FBA. Mm -hmm. And your court dismissed, uh, it was supposed to go to Superior Court, but your court dismissed and you ordered him to uh, get a complete alcohol and drug evaluation and anger management course. I'm not sure okay. if you remember that or not. I, you know, I believe I do. We, uh, he wanted to remain a police officer, but if he was under criminal charges, that would have been a, a problem, as I recall. I'm um, to my knowledge, uh, Tony Hansen is still uh, a police officer with the Jackson, Georgia Police Department, and this is how he's treating uh, the citizens of the city of Jackson. I asked you a question. You wanted to see her and get rude. That was it. Have a good day. You're an you're, you're asshole. Come here. I'm no, not done with you. Speech. Freedom, Freedom of speech. speech. First Amendment. First Amendment. Come here. I'm allowed to use it. No. Ma'am, I am not done. I need to run your ID. No, you no. Has, no. She, has she? Has uh, she? Has she done? Ma'am, I need your identification. He doesn't have to. He does not have to do it unless you have done any criminal. I'll lock you up too. Get in the car. Bear. Get in the car. I'm not getting in the car. I don't have my ID. I don't have identification. Your mother cursed in public. Get in the car. I'm not getting in the car. I don't have my ID. I don't have identification. Please make sure to check out the full uh, story on this um, that's on the channel as well. I'm interested to know everybody's uh, thoughts um, about this whole ordeal as a whole, as the big picture. Uh, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, 
And lastly, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And we will catch you guys on the next video. And until then, Georgia Transparency is 